Okay, so this is basically a what's in my phone unboxing video. I already pretty much dismantled the box here, but inside it came with a charger and what was supposed to be earphones. However, I never received mine. <laughs> but what's important is the phone. So regarding the screen size, it is 6.9 inches. The weight is 208 grams. It was released on August 2020. So the storage capacity is 128 gigabytes. However, you can level up to 256 gigabytes. And obviously the operating system is Android. This is a case that I bought from Amazon. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it yet, but we move. So first we turn it on. And I basically customized it by downloading a theme from Galaxy Themes, which I'll show you guys how to do later on in this video. And here we see all of the apps on the home screen. We have the time, we have the location and the weather. And then here are just the most important apps that I have. And then we have the call log, which looks like this. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's actually really nice. And then the messaging. And moving on to the rest of the home screen, we have these apps. So these are just some more important apps that I use on a regular basis. I have Google Docs, I have LinkedIn, SoundCloud, YouTube, some important tools like my files and voice recorder. Here we have all of the apps on the lock screen. So I have the phone, the messages, the internet, the camera, the gallery, contacts, Samsung Music, email, the calculator, the clock. Also again, some of my more important tools. Anyways, so it also comes with Galaxy Wearable. However, since I haven't purchased the Galaxy Buds Pro yet, I haven't been able to sync it. However, it just basically shows you all of the different Galaxy devices that you can sync with this phone. So like the Galaxy Watch Active, the Galaxy Fit, the Galaxy Buds, and so on. Honestly, I really love this theme because it's very neutral. However, it's also still very easy to see because there are other themes that I just feel like look very cluttered and just disorganized. So regarding how to set up the themes, basically you would go to the Galaxy theme section and then what I did is I would just go to the search icon. And then because I was specifically looking for something pastel, I would click pastel. And it shows you like some of the most popular themes and what a lot of people are downloading at the moment. However, because what they're showing you are the ones that you have to pay for, I went to the top free and I just perused through you know, all the different themes. Honestly, a lot of them are really cute, but they just felt very cluttered and I feel like I'd be distracted looking at it. So let's say that you find one that you really like. So I'll use this as a test. So you would just scroll down and press free and you would download it. You would apply it. So I'm going to sacrifice my beautiful theme just to show you guys how cute this is. <laughs> so this is what the new theme looks like. As you can see, all of the icons changed. Oh wow, this is actually really nice. <laughs> so you see like email, Samsung Music, literally everything has changed. Samsung Pay, Samsung Health, and all that stuff. However, let's say you're like, wow, I do not like this theme, I need to go back. You would go to settings, and then you press themes. And then you would go here, oops, sorry. And then you would go here, and you would press my stuff. And you see all your themes here. So here are the ones that I previously downloaded. And then this is the one that I'm going to go back to because we go way back. As you can see, the theme is back. Basically shows you how to change your theme. So now I'll show you guys how to use the S Pen. So you would press, there's a button at the bottom, which is where the S Pen is. And you would just click it out like this. And then this would pop up and it's like create note, view all notes, smart select, screen write, live message, AR doodle, translate, pen up. And then you can just add more shortcuts. So I'll just go to create note. And then from here you can do your little doodling thing like 
You get what I mean? It's not the best, but you, you see the vision. So, and then from there, you can download it. Save as file. I'm going to save it as an image because it's cute. And then I'll save it in downloads. And that's about it. And then if you're looking to scroll, you can just do this, which I find to be really convenient. You know, it makes me feel fancy. So what's really cool is you can also use the S Pen as a clicker. So I usually use like an actual clicker to take pictures. But if you just press this button, you can take, I don't know what that is, but you can totally take pictures. And also the video quality is honestly really great. And I'll insert some footage of the video quality because I honestly highly recommend it, especially if you're someone who's trying to, you know, take higher resolution videos. So whether you're using it for professional reasons or you're looking to just take better high quality pictures or videos, the S20 is a very inclusive and you know welcoming phone for all sorts of phone users. Anyways, with that all being said, the Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G is honestly such a great and efficient phone. And it's just something that I would recommend to just anyone who's interested in either switching from the flop iOS or anyone who's just used to using Android devices because it's honestly very simple to use and it's not too overcomplicated or inaccessible, which is honestly why I really enjoy using it.